In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the video, uh, the template, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, I've opened NVU and then click on File and open File. I need to find the file where we downloaded, uh, unzipped it and it was in C drive, unzipped, and 12 niche slide templates, and then templates. These are the 12 templates that we downloaded. I'm going to use the Go phone, and then open index page. This template down here is a fixed size template. So you have some white space down here if someone is using a 1280 resolution or higher. And uh, I can show you how to, if you can, if you want to use it the same way, that's fine, up to you. But if you want to widen it to the screen, then I, on this video I'm going to show you how to do it. click on source and this is the source code for the template and click on edit and find 780 is the size that this template is and to resize it we could make it 100% of the screen. That makes it variable for no matter what resolution person is using, if, as long as they're using more than 800, uh, they would have a full screen website. And then click on replace find. And it's found one, so it will replace that with 900%, found another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, and another one. It hasn't got any more. So we close this and close this and preview it. You can see the whole website now is full screen. Uh, the other modification I want to make is the menu. The menu is all on the right and left hand side, uh, right hand side I mean. And I like it in the middle. So we go back on the source code and find the menu. And there it is. Now it's P align right. So what I've got to do is make it center. When you do that, all this menu will be centered. The other thing we need to do is change the names of it. So order, I'm going to change it to articles, affiliates, I'm going to change it to links, contact us, we're going to leave that as it is, and link 2, I'm going to change it to sitemap. And the sixth one, we're not using it, so we can take it out if we want to, and to take it out, all you do is delete this part down here. The other modification I want to make on the website is the columns, left and right columns. 
and I like to have uh, columns on the right hand side and left hand side for the each side to put some ads on and that one down there is this part down here and I'm going to change that to 150 it would be above your content the TD above your content and below the content make it 150 uh, let's preview that and as you see now we have modified the template to our needs and what we're going to, I'm going to do is save this template this white space down here will widen with the since we stretch the template uh, to 100 percent it will have a white space between the side and uh, that one down there will stretch with the resolution and shrink with the resolution I hope this video helps to you how to oh we have to save this template sorry so we go click file and save as Now all these files are there. We are uh, we had to make another me uh, modification in a menu that we didn't do. So I'll go back again, cancel this, and go into source code again, and find the menu. And that is the first one is okay. It's got an index htm htm, but I'm going to make it html. The second one is got page two html we need to make that article HTML the third one we're going to make it links HTML Uh, the fourth one we're going to make it contact us in the file name normally you don't want to leave a space so you we use an underscore or a dash contact underscore us dot HTML and then the last one was sitemap and same again S I T E M A P now that we have made the file names corresponding to our uh, menu double check see if you haven't made a mistake and then preview and now you see the sitemap contact us links articles and all once you satisfied with the modification I don't think I need any other modification on this template so we're going to save it click on file and save as I'm not going to save it as index page I'm going to save it as a template so that I can reuse it every time H T E M P L A T E so that I can use it when I put my articles on it every time I put the articles on there I'll be using this template so save the template now that we have uh, saved the template on the next video I'll show you how to add content to your template and save it as an index page I hope this video helped you